Aloha, I'm on the coconut rhinoceros beetle response team. Today, I'd like to invite you on our hunt for invasive beetles in Hawaii. You'll learn how to identify coconut rhinoceros beetle, identify their potential breeding material, and how to report anything you might find. Coconut rhinoceros beetle, or CRB, are an invasive species in Hawaii. Invasive species are organisms that cause harm to ecosystems and are not native to the area. They were brought from someplace else. CRB cause harm to the environment by eating palms such as coconut, fan, date, and royal palms. Adult beetles use their strong front legs to dig into the crown of palms and feed on the inner spear or heart of palm. The crown of the palm will be left with boreholes like these about two inches wide. Fronds that were damaged by a CRB will have V-cuts on their leaves when they emerge, like this. It takes multiple feeding events for a tree to die from CRB. Many palms on other Pacific islands, like Guam, have died off due to CRB, so we're working to protect as many palms as we can in Hawaii and prevent CRB from spreading to new areas. This is what we might expect if CRB populations got out of control in Hawaii. Coconut rhinoceros beetles are native to Southeast Asia. They have invaded many Pacific islands where they lack the predators found in their native range. Because palms are so important to us in Hawaii, we're working to eradicate or completely remove coconut rhinoceros beetle. CRB don't start their lives as fully grown adult beetles. Instead, they begin their lives as eggs laid in mulch, compost, green waste, or decomposing plant material. After they hatch, they grow through larval stages called instars, getting fatter as they eat green waste material. At their largest, CRB can reach three and a half to four inches. After about four to six months, the larvae will pupate and then emerge as adult beetles, which will live for about three to five months. How do we find CRB? We have over 3,000 traps around Oahu. These black panel traps help us to monitor the population and indicate where we should focus our efforts. While our traps remove some beetles from the population, they don't remove every single beetle. We're focused on finding CRB breeding sites. Adult female CRB can lay about 90 eggs, meaning populations could multiply quickly if they are left in the environment. Looking for potential breeding sites and removing larvae is a great chance to make sure these CRB are never able to mature and cause damage to palms. We could use your help in looking for places where CRB could be breeding. Our teams cover as much ground as we can, but we can't access every area on Oahu. If you find a new potential CRB breeding site in your neighborhood, you're doing great work to protect the palms nearby. This mulch survey guide will guide you through the process that our technicians follow to assess how suitable or appealing breeding material might be for coconut rhinoceros beetles and how to document those piles. For this activity, you'll need a worksheet or paper to take notes on, pen or pencil, smartphone or device that can find GPS coordinates, camera, tool like a rake, shovel, or garden hoe, garden gloves, and a hard plastic or glass container to collect any CRB you might find. Once you locate a mulch pile you think could be good material for CRB, the first thing you'll do is record the latitude and longitude of the potential breeding site. Compare your location to our map of where our traps have been catching CRB, found at crbhawaii.org, and if it's near one of our CRB hotspots, there's a higher likelihood it could contain CRB. But even if it's outside of one of our hotspots, we'd like to be notified right away anytime there's a new potential CRB infestation. Then you'll check off which characteristics the material has to make it more or less suitable for CRB. Give a point for moisture, small particle size, broken down material with deep brown color, palm material, and presence of oriental flower beetle larva a look-alike pest species that is more widespread than CRB. Tally up your points and assign a score to the pile. The highest possible score is five points. Next, you'll look through the material for CRB. Use the CRB larva identification key on the back of the worksheet to help determine if the larva you found is CRB. Coconut rhinoceros beetle adults and larvae can look similar to other species and can breed in the same material. Collect any CRB that you find and document how many CRB you recover in each life stage on your worksheet. Last but not least, you'll estimate the total area searched including length, width, and height measurements. 
Once you've surveyed your mulch pile, please report your findings to us. Use the QR code to submit your data online. If you find any CRB, take a picture and call the response immediately to arrange a pickup. We'll compile it with the breeding site data that our field team collects. Please also report any palm damage or issues with our traps. All of the reports we get from the public help us to broaden the area we can monitor and ensure our traps are working to catch beetles. Mahalo for learning about coconut rhinoceros beetle and potential breeding sites. You can find more information online at www.crbhawaii.org.